Hello and welcome to the sixth lecture of our series on mitosis. Previously, we covered the basics of prometaphase. In that video, we discussed about the kinetochore and the role of kinetochore in the mitosis. In this video, we will be discussing the next phase, which is metaphase. During the cell cycle, there is a stage called metaphase, which lasts for around 4% of the total time of the cell cycle. This stage comes after the prometaphase stage and before the anaphase stage of mitosis. In this stage, the microtubules that were formed in prophase have already connected to the kinetochores. During metaphase, chromosomes in eukaryotic cells which contain genetic material become tightly condensed and coiled up. They align at the center of the cell before being distributed evenly into the two new cells created during the cell division. During metaphase, the centromeres of chromosomes align themselves on the metaphase plate, which is an imaginary line that is equidistant from the two centrosome poles. This even alignment occurs as a result of counterbalance of the pulling forces generated by the opposing kinetochore microtubules. Similar to the tug of war between two people of equal strength, ultimately leading to the destruction of B-cycling proteins. During the metaphase stage of the cell cycle, the chromosomes in certain types of cells do not align perfectly at the metaphase plate. Instead, they move back and forth between the poles randomly, only roughly aligning along the middle line. The metaphase stage is an important checkpoint in the cell cycle, as it only proceeds to anaphase once all chromosomes have been aligned perfectly at the metaphase plate, and each kinetochore is properly attached to the bundle of microtubules. It is believed that when kinetochores are not properly attached, they send a signal to delay the progression of anaphase. Even if the most of the chromosomes have been aligned and most of the kinetochores have been attached. This is an important point to remember and to understand in the metaphase stage. This signal creates a checkpoint in the cell division process, known as the mitotic spindle checkpoint, which is controlled by the regulation of certain proteins such as the anaphase promoting complex, saccharin and separase. Anaphase promoting complex, also known as the cyclosome, is a protein complex that plays a crucial role in the cell cycle. It acts as an E3 ubiquitin ligase, which means that it attaches ubiquitin molecules to the proteins, marking them for degradation by the 26S proteasome. In simpler term, the anaphase promoting complex plays a key role in controlling the cell cycle by selectively destroying certain proteins. Saccharin is a protein that plays a crucial role in the regulation of the cell cycle. Specifically, it is involved in the control of the transition from metaphase to anaphase and the onset of anaphase. When the chromosomes are correctly lined up on the cell's equator and the spindle checkpoint system is no longer active, the regulatory system that includes saccharin produces a signal that triggers the highly synchronized separation of chromosomes during anaphase stage. Separase, also known as separin, is a cysteine protease responsible for triggering anaphase by hydrolyzing cohesins which is the protein responsible for binding sister chromatids during the early stage of anaphase. All right, these were some of the key points of metaphase stage. Next, we will discuss the anaphase stage of mitosis. If you like the videos, then please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Let's move on to the next video.